Which came first, the chicken or the egg? To be honest with you, I haven't got a clue. But what I do know, how birds build their nests, how their chicks hatch and how they fledge. And I'm going to show you just that. It's a Cape Rock thrush couple. A male has a blue head, a female has a brown head. And this is our veranda where they decided to build their nest, just on top of this very column. Early September, we noticed some strange bird activity on our veranda. Birds were flying in and out, carrying some branches, moss and fluff in their beaks and landing on top of the column behind the two wooden owls. The thrushes started building their new nest. A happy male is announcing the completion of a new home for his future children. At least this is how I interpret the song from the thrush language. After almost a week of hard work, the nest was built and three little eggs were laid. The female was sitting on the eggs for approximately two weeks. When we noticed some broken eggshell on the floor under the column, we knew the chicks have hatched. And sure enough, there were three cute little baby birds in the nest. Both parents started to feed their babies. To help with the feeding process, I put out a bowl of dried mealworms on the veranda. On the fourth day, I could hear tiny little voices of the baby birds for the first time. During the first week, their pink little bodies started to get covered with fluff. Both thrush parents take turns feeding the chicks with various insects. After being fed, the nestling turns its rear end to the parent and ejects a floppy white bag of poop encased in mucus, the so-called fecal sac. The parent flies away to dispose of it or scuffs it down as a snack. A fecal sac is a unique creation of Mother Nature, an environmentally friendly nappy in a biodegradable casing. Thanks to this procedure, the birds keep the nest hygienically clean and free of smell, which can attract predators. This nappy duty is one of the most unique and underappreciated behaviors among birds. After week one, the parents added to the insect diet some small vertebrates geckos, lizards and little tree frogs. On day 9 the chick's eyes are fully open. After two weeks, the fluff is being replaced by feathers. Now the parents added some vitamins to the chick's diet. They feed them on fresh berries. Day 16, the chicks stand on their legs and try to stretch their wings.
Our chicks grow very quickly and they have voracious appetites. Poor mom and dad spend the whole day bringing food to their nest. The nest is almost too small for the three of them and they look ready to fledge. But are they ready? The baby birds learned how to preen. Three weeks later, the birds left the nest. It was quite a chaotic event. One chick flew into the house, one stayed in the nest for quite a while, and only one flew in the garden straight away. <laughs> And finally, the nest is empty. The parents carry on feeding the chicks for a few months after they fledge, even though the chicks can perfectly feed themselves. Two months later, the mother thrush had a new clutch in the nest. And now I'm watching another generation of thrushes being raised. Thanks for watching and all the best to you. Bye.